Namaste, my beautiful queens. <clears throat> Losing my voice. As I promised you uh, the spread, which is called the truth of it. Uh, we'll be using what I want you to pay attention. This is not pick up the card. This is the large spread, seven cards. The thing is, when, <clears throat> when you do the spread to a situation, you can do, you can add cards, uh, you can look deeper into it. For example, there is a certain question and certain position in a spread. For example, his uh, <clears throat> true feelings. When you do it yourself or when I do it privately, Sometimes what happens, for those of you who do tarot cards or are going to do it or interested in it, sometimes when you put down the card, it might not, it, it sometimes seems like it's out of pattern, like it doesn't make sense with the, red or with the rest of the spread. So when you put a card, <clears throat> excuse me, to a certain position, to a certain questions, sometimes it's required to put clarification. You want to know what exactly this card means. So you can say, I need clarification for this card, and then you can put another one to see. Usually, I do two cards to one position. For, exa for example, what are his feelings? I put two cards so I see deeper and more clearly. Of course, when I do <clears throat> the spreads like this for you, I cannot do 12, uh, 14, 16, 22 cards because it's going to take me forever. So I do one card to each position. But sometimes if I see <clears throat> it needs clarification, then I can put more cards. I'm going to use this uh, deck, which is very rare. Don't try to find it. It's not available in states. It's not actually not available in many places. Uh, please look at uh, the uh, picture of the card because it's more of an oracle type. It's, it's not classical uh, Rider White or Alistair Crowley. So look at uh, the picture become uh, the uh, um, part of the picture. So the truth of it spread seven cards. Goals he openly shows you. His true goals. Feelings he shows you. His true feelings. What he will do openly, what he will do behind your back. Outcome of the situation. Of course, I would add to spread like this advice to you, what you should do, what you should not do, um, and other things. But uh, in uh, this spread, we will do the seven cards. And we'll take for advice, we will take the psychic tarot or card. So... Again, this is not pickup card. This is the spread, which is called the truth of it. Now, first card. Goals he openly shows you. Second, true goals of his. Feelings he shows you. True feelings of his. What he will do openly what he will do behind your back, if he is going to do behind your back something. In tarot, <clears throat> no cards, no cards all negative, like the positive card have shadows, negative card, even tower has positive vibe in it, even it's difficult. The only card you uh, need to be worried about in relationship, especially seven of swords, you're being deceited and ten of swords, you're going to be betrayed. And um, outcome. So we will look into this spread take what resonates. I don't expect one spread to resonate with everybody. But if you are watching this video, there is something in here you need to look into, you need to hear, you need to think about, feel your vibration. Let's put it right here. So let us go. What 
goals, intentions. He openly shows you five of swords. Well, are no, are no good already. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, as this is, uh, um, if he uh, openly shows you this, then you know exactly what you are dealing with. Openly, you have tons of conflicts and fight. Being honest with you, I wish uh, it was uh, differently. But as I uh, almost uh, always say, don't uh, shoot a messenger. Um, there is an expression which comes with Five of Swords. Me and Fire were playing a game. So there cannot, they, when you are playing with the Fire, it can be only one winner, right? <clears throat> if the Fire wins uh, and uh, you are going to be gone, especially if you're a paper man or a wax woman, or uh, the Fire is going to die, you're going to use some water. Unfortunately, what he shows you, he doesn't show you fair play. So, unfortunately, uh, there is a lot of fears and a lot of doubts, and he hurts you a lot, and he openly does it. My questions is, like, I don't even, if, if I was doing your uh, spread, I, my question would be, why the hell were you doing with this man? Because the problem with Five of Sword that uh, it's someone who enjoys uh, the war. In classical deck, it's a man standing on the battlefield with dead bodies around, and he holds all the swords for those who fell. So it's a victory by any cost. He is gonna, it's my way or highway. He's not gonna compromise. He hurts other people's feelings, and in this case, yours. And unfortunately, he doesn't have compassion. He, uh, it's a tragic situation. He openly shows you uh, such behavior in which he can humiliate you, hurt you, um, uh, bring you pain, whether it's abuse, whether it's psychologically or emotionally. Uh, and unfortunately, you crying out there in a corner, but this one doesn't have no compassion. He doesn't feel your pain. He doesn't care. Uh, girls, please, he, of course, it's not true so about all of you, but this is typical uh, narcissist. But this one, narcissist, usually uh, covert narcissist behaves like an angel, but acts uh, like a demon. <clears throat> But uh, he acts like a demon in such ways that nobody believes he's a demon. In this uh, position, this is how openly he shows it to you. So, uh, you know, uh, why the hell you're dealing with this man? But if this is openly what he shows you, how about we see uh, what true goals of his, why he behaves like this? Uh, this is very stubborn man. This is cold man. This is unpredictable man. Uh, why the heck, uh, you know, why to deal with someone like this? True goals, <clears throat> what he really wants. This is what he uh, openly shows you his goals. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. You know, I'm going to keep on fighting and hurting you. What are his true goals? And his true goals are nine of wands. <clears throat> Again, please look at uh, the uh, photo. You see that this is a wooden, <clears throat> I would say like a wooden boy, like a Pinocchio. The boy made uh, out of a wood. And uh, this, his feet are standing with his roots to the ground. And it means <clears throat> that his true goals are standing where he is standing right now. His goals are absolutely not connecting to no movement at all. This is a resistance for any movement. If we put this two together, unfortunately, we don't uh, see too good of a picture. Girls, uh, as I already said, <coughs> I am here 
not necessarily to give you a uh, happily ever after. Uh, I am here to tell you what is here in the spread and probably you need to pay attention and you need to think if this is something ringing the bell. So very, a uh, very deep deck. So you see him standing here. Uh, it's a boy tree who has roots in the ground. So him resisting uh, of any changes, resisting his own freedom, especially if he openly tells you and shows you that he's going to do only what he wants, only what he likes, only my way or highway. We can put these two together and unfortunately <clears throat> we don't see too much of a of a potential of happily ever after with this man. Yes, nine of swords talk about partner who became like this because in the past uh, that was the only way for him to survive. Covert narcissists, my beautiful girls, <clears throat> don't happen out of blue. There were reasons for covert narcissists to develop into covert narcissists, usually uh, in the childhood. But unfortunately, uh, we have this coldness, we have this separation, we have uh, absence of true involvement of emotions, feelings, and uh, exchange of true, uh, uh, true energies of love. <clears throat> it's a cold heart. This is a card of cold heart. This is a card of cold heart. He's not going to do any, nothing is going to change. You cannot change Five of Sword. He's going to resist any changes at all. So <clears throat> my advice would be, you know, why the hell you need a guy like this? Now, next, again, don't shoot a messenger. I'm reading the cards. I have to read them the, how they are. If you're listening to it, maybe there is something you need to hear. So, goals. Of course, goals, he openly shows you, I'm not going to budge. Goals, uh, <clears throat> he openly shows you, I'm going to only do my own way. And true goals, I'm not going to budge. So, these two cards pretty much... Uh, and uh, enhancing the meaning of each other feelings he shows you and you know when I do your personal spread and the cards are like this and you want me to tell you fairy tale what am I supposed to do take this and say ah oh, he's gonna fight for your love I mean I cannot do this I have to tell you what's there now feelings feelings he shows you Oh, I hate of pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. What do you see here uh, in this card? Uh, eight of pentacles. Unfortunately, uh, not much feelings he shows you because uh, pentacles not... Um, connected uh, to feelings and emotions uh, like cups and wands but at the same time at the same time as this is the feelings he shows you uh, he shows you of uh, that in order to make it somehow work but we have to take into consideration this too before that now <clears throat> he shows you that if you want it to work out, then it requires a very, very hard work. But there is a problem here. We now have to take into consideration the cards which we already saw. And if we take it into consideration that the work is required from you. Uh, what is required from you, be patient. What is required from you, you need to do everything necessary. Uh, rise and fall, burn and rise like phoenix in order to make this uh, relationship work. Feelings he shows you are unfortunately not uh, not uh, much of feelings he shows you. We already see it in previous cards. But what he shows you that, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. Be patient with me. Take care of me. Be attentive to me. Show your emotions to me. Be faithful. Be sincere. Be modest. Don't make me jealous. 
You know, if you want to be having a man like me in your life, you have to, it's a hard work. You have to do this. You have to do that. What you see right here, of course, you see uh, uh, someone uh, right here. There is a person who is drawing a sacred symbols and studying magic and studying uh, the um, sacred knowledge and it requires patience and requires time and requires a lot of efforts you see the bats here and so on so on and so on patience dedication so his feelings he shows you is pretty much you darling have to give your time your dedication if you want to stay with me <clears throat> unfortunately um unfortunately uh some of you take this man as your first and last love i have a uh, lots of questions to this man and about this man cards are <clears throat> negative now his true feelings are the feelings he does not show to you Two of Swords. Why such a negative spread? Unfortunately, it's a negative spread, my dear girls. Uh, not much of a good things. Two of Swords. So, uh, what you see in Two of Swords, you see this woman turning with her back, with uh, the uh, oh well right here, and uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, his um, true feelings are not far away from what we have already seen. Swords, girls, you are dealing with most energy. You have to look at the cards. Most of the energies of or two of swords. Again, if you want to keep this man in your life, I, I honestly don't see any reasons why you need to keep this man in your life. But again, it's uh, compromising. So his true feelings are... Uh, card doesn't have too much of the um, true feelings there uh, it's true feelings when deep inside he's asking himself a question of uh, um, should I even continue all this does it make sense to continue all this should I end it all all together because uh, um, unfortunately um, he knows what he wants and he knows what you want and uh, um, you, you really put up with tons and tons of things which in my opinion, my beautiful queens, you must absolutely not put up with those things absolutely and his real true feelings is unfortunately we see with all the cards we already seen his absence of involvement of his heart chakra or any other chakras he is called his uh, especially if we take uh, the five of swords and two of swords right here um you are completely uh, with a wrong man right here all the cards are talking about you being a wrong uh, with a wrong man and um you simply win if you simply completely leave uh, this this a uh, whole thing because the only thing good can be in this is you can you can have this diplomatic relationship you know i do this you do this don't dream of his love or of his um um involvement of true feelings and true emotions so on and so on sometimes uh, it can talk about marriage if this is your husband marriage of two people who can't stand each other but have the common goal for example let's stay together because we have kids together let's stay together or if you are separated with this man sometimes it's a situation when you are in separation but you have a child together so when he comes to see a child you have to spend time with him but hopes to uh, awaken any emotions and feelings is the in this man unfortunately are uh, close to none i am sorry girls such a spread this is an example for you an example for you that sometimes this spread can tell you 
or what is there and it's up to you to choose walk away from uh, this uh, not a good man at all um, with whom you are crying more than you are laughing with whom you are being uh, mistreated with whom you are being hurt with whom you are being um, you know you, you live suffering crying and in pain my question why the hell uh, sometimes, yes, a spread can be like this, and I have to read it to you as it is, because uh, some of you want personal reading with me, and when I tell you something like this, you're like, oh, no, you know, why are you so negative? Uh, you know, could you say something good about him? Well, there is nothing good about him. How can, can you say something good about Cobra? How good it is to be sleeping with Cobra. Can I say something good about it? Not. No. If you're dealing with a rat, believing that your love is going to turn him into a swan, can I say something good about it? Not. And card will show you, card will tell you what is there. <clears throat> so, what he will do openly. Oh, yeah. look how uh, strange are the cards. So, Four of Wands. So what you can expect, Four of Wands is a first positive card in the spread. This card is very positive. So, but even though the card is positive, we have to take into consideration all the negative cards we already seen. This is what I, I was telling you. Everything is bad, but suddenly the good. What he will show you openly if we take into consideration this card, then we can see right here in Two of Pentacles a woman which is walking away. We can see that you get, can, can get sick and tired of waiting, of being patient, of being uh, compromising, so on and so on. And you, very possible might turn away a will means a wisdom and try to walk away from uh, from him five of pentacles doesn't like somebody walking away from them what comes to their own uh, will so what we have here and we have eight of cups so the only positive card in here Four of Wands, and now I opened up what he will do behind your back. Girls, I am sorry, very negative. But suddenly, suddenly, after all this hell you have been going through with this man, for some of you girls, this is your boyfriend husband. For some of you, this is your ex-husband. Because cards show you that you have been dealing with this guy for quite a bit of time. So, you get tired and sick and you're walking away and suddenly look what he will openly show. Completely different what, what he will do uh, behind your back. Openly, suddenly, <clears throat> he realizes that you will walk away. You're sick and tired of this. And uh, uh, he openly starts to show you that he is uh, very serious about you. Four of Wands openly showing you ab absolute incredible improvement of their situation. He shows you that the rat turned into a swan, uh, into a swan, or um, you know, a snake turned into a swan, and uh, he shows you harmony. He suddenly shows you warmth of his heart. He suddenly brings you two tickets to a cruise he suddenly uh girls you know what this whole situation reminds me this is a true story this is an absolute true story a man buys two tickets to paris i swear this is it two years of relationship of something what i have just described you and uh he buys two tickets to paris they come to Paris, uh, spend two days in Paris, and then he leaves her note in the hotel that he's leaving her for another woman. 
My question was why the hell he couldn't do it before taking her to Paris. But the thing is that uh, you, a five of swords, it's really sometimes their actions are ridiculous. So look at that. Openly he shows you that everything suddenly became wonderful. Suddenly he can take you to a vacation or spend beautiful weekend with your girls. You know how many times I've seen it. Unfortunately, you know how many times I have seen this situation. We've spent such a beautiful weekend, I read the email. He was so close. He was making love with me so beautifully. He was talking his heart. He was so open. And then he was gone. He doesn't answer the phone calls, he doesn't answer text messages, and he blocked me from anywhere, everywhere. And uh, <clears throat> when she comes to him, actually tries to talk to her, to her uh, he cuts her off like what the Five of Swords has. Because Five of Swords will not let you leave him. Five of Swords will leave you himself because this is how he feels as a victorious man girls please again i don't expect it to resonate with everybody but you have to see if there are any red flags you see in here and think about it if something what you just heard is there so everything is wonderful everything is great you spend wonderful time together. He suddenly show you openly that he is all there. He changed. He wants to be with you. He wants to marry you. Blah, 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 blah. Behind your back, what do you see? Eight of cups. Eight of cups in classical deck is a man who walks away. In this deck, you see a man sitting and reading a book. And eight cups here. A man who had made up his mind to stay alone. The eight of cups is a breakup, unfortunately. That weekend or that several nights you're going to spend together is going to end up what he's going to do behind his back. He is going to say a goodbye. He is going to leave. Uh, that union falls apart. He does it behind your back while openly acting like he changed and he wants to be with you and he wants to uh, make it all possible. Sometimes this is him leaving, um, leaving physically, to uh, leaving the place to another country, to another city, and you find out about it much later or several days later. But this is ending of relationship, ending of everything you've had. Does it behind your back? So my beautiful queens, this spread, unfortunately, is very, very sad. But again, this is a spread and I had to read it as it is, as how I do your personal reading. If it's wonderful things there, I will tell you. But if the things are not that wonderful, then I will tell you also. Outcome of his, this whole situation. Outcome, my beautiful queens. A look at that. Knight of Cups. Very interesting outcome. If we put this, him a living, their uh, absolute uh, breakage of this man and you, thanks heaven, you don't need a man like this. The outcome of this whole situation is a new chance for love, Knight of Cups. And you see uh, this man, I don't know if you see it clearly, you see the Owl and the man uh, riding an Owl and he's flying across some spaces and flying towards you. This is absolutely new relationship and absolutely new man. So through the uh, through all these things you've been with this man, we are having in a classical deck. It's a man riding a horse, and this one is riding an owl, and this is a new chance, an event which comes unexpectedly into your life because he brings the good news. 
and the good news of a new man. And for you, you can suddenly receive a letter from someone you knew before, maybe several years ago, or maybe, uh, you know, when several, uh, maybe several decades ago. New spring. This is the card of new spring. New romance. New man. Mystery of life. Emotional rising. He comes to heal all the wounds which this one caused you. All the wounds which you, all the pain, all the suffering, because this is a messenger of true love. Because what we were looking at here, it was karmic, a uh, dark, so-called unpleasant dark karma right here. You are done with it because Eight of Cups also has a meaning of your karma had been paid. You are done with it. And suddenly comes the true one, the real one, the soulmate who he will in a short period of time heal all the wounds caused by this one. And we pull one card from heart and we are having here the card shine. Shine together with the Knight of Cups. This is your time to shine and he is going to turn that light inside of you. You are going to temporarily lose this light from all the pain caused by this one. And this one comes springtime, new love, soulmate, and your ability and opportunity to shine to love and to be loved this my beautiful queens all i have to tell you in this spread i hope it was helpful namaste